Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. What is a Medicare Beneficiary Identifier? The Medicare Beneficiary Identifier, MBI, is a unique identifier assigned to every person with Medicare, replacing the Social Security Number, SSN, based Health Insurance Claim Number, HICN, on Medicare cards. This change was mandated by the Medicare Access and CHIP Reauthorization Act of 2015 to enhance security and protect beneficiary information. Key Characteristics of MBIs Length and Format MBIs are 11 characters long, consisting of numbers and uppercase letters with no special characters. The letters S, L, O, I, B, and Z are excluded to avoid confusion with numbers. Random generation. Each MBI is randomly generated and does not contain any hidden or special meaning. Confidentiality. MBIs are considered personally identifiable information and must be protected confidentially. Implementation and usage. Effective date. The MBI became the primary identifier for Medicare transactions starting January 1, 2020. Providers must use the MBI for all Medicare transactions, including claim submissions, eligibility inquiries, and claim status checks. Exceptions. There are limited exceptions where the HICN can still be used, such as for appeals, certain system adjustments, and retrospective reporting. Card replacement. If a Medicare card is lost or stolen, beneficiaries will receive a new MBI. Providers must use the new MBI for all subsequent transactions. Impact on beneficiaries and providers. Beneficiary impact. The MBI does not change Medicare benefits. Beneficiaries should use their new Medicare cards and MBIs when receiving healthcare services or filling prescriptions. Provider responsibilities. Providers must obtain the MBI from beneficiaries and use it for all Medicare transactions. Claims submitted without the MBI will be rejected. How to obtain and use MBIs. Patient verification. Providers can ask patients for their new Medicare cards or use lookup tools available through Medicare portals to obtain the MBI. System adjustments. Providers must adjust their systems to accommodate the new MBI format and ensure compliance with the new requirements. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.